You are welcome to another video of Juniper Security Associate course. In this section, I will talk about Juniper SRX screen policy options and configuration, which is used to detect and prevent attacks, primarily at layer 3 and layer 4, like ICMP flood, UDP flood, and TCP SIM flood. And it is the first policy applied to the traffic in the ingress direction of the interface for both new sessions or existing sessions if you remember from the section juniper sx traffic flow the screen policy is the first policy applied to the incoming traffic for both new sessions and existing sessions the target of screen policy is to detect and prevent attacks primarily at layer 3 and layer 4 there is a large list of attacks that scheme policy can prevent, but they are divided into two main categories. The first category include attacks that are detected based on statistics such as ICMP flood, UDP flood, and TCP SIM flood. In the second category, attacks are detected based on noun signatures and if the packet contains a pattern of a specific attack signature then the attack will be detected like tcp sim fin tcp land ip bat option and many other attacks in this section i'm not going to define the attacks that are detected by the screen policy as they are mostly self-explanatory Additionally, you can easily find the definition of each attack on the Juniper CLI Explorer website in the URL apps.juniper.net slash cli-explorer. For example, when I enter the keyword here to discover the description of here drop attack, it is written that it identify and draw fragmented IP packet that overlap. You can find easily the description of all skin options over the internet or on this website. By the Juniper SRX version 22.1 or 1.10 that I am working on, there is a default screen policy with the name of untrust screen applied to the interfaces in untrust zone. On this policy, ping this attack in ICMP category, source route option and tier drop attack in IP category, and TCP sync flood and TCP LAN in the TCP category are by default active. And this is the display set of the configuration. In the last line, the screen policy with the name of untrust screen is applied to the zone untrust. All traffic incoming to the interfaces in untrust zone are inspected by this policy. Just to review the list of attacks covered by the screen policy, we enter the command set security screen and then IDS option and a name, for example, outside dash screen and then question mark as you can see the attacks are classified in four categories icmp ip and tcp and udp also there are two other options alarm without drop and limit session alarm without drop option is to log an alert for an offending packet but not drop the packet by default Offending packets are dropped and you must enable this option to not drop offending traffic. Unfortunately, it's not possible to enable this feature per packet. Therefore, in my opinion, it does not make sense to enable this feature for all attacks at once. The second option limit session is to limit the number of sessions per source or per destination IP address for example you can limit that no sources over the internet can open more than 100 session to our network for a specific destination 
as another example you can specify that the maximum number of sessions for each of our target server does not have to be more than 1000 unfortunately it's not possible to enable this feature for a specific source or destination ip address therefore in my opinion most of the time it does not make sense to enable this feature for all source and destination ip addresses at once now let's review the list of attacks covered by the screen policy in each category i'm not going to give any description for these attacks i'm going to just show the list of attacks in each category once in the category of icmp ping flood and ping deaths are probably the most well-known attacks in the category of ip we hear a lot about bat option source route option ip spoofing and tier drop attacks in the category of tcp port scan scene flood and tcp sweep are probably the most well-known attacks and finally in the category of udp we have udp flood port scan and udp sweep options to be comfortable another point regarding screen policy is that sometimes we want to exempt some ip addresses from being inspected by a screen policy for example the computers in the security operation center are allowed to simulate attacks for penetration testing and security analysis it is expected that the traffic from these ip addresses are not blocked or dropped with a screen policy with the command set security screen and then here we have an option white lease you're allowed for example white lease you're allowed to exempt some ip addresses from being inspected by the screen policy for example 10 10 10 0 24 just to have a sample configuration let's enable a screen option icmp flood with threshold 10 this means that the maximum number of 10 icmp packets are allowed per second for a given source and destination ip address with command set security and then a screen and then id option and with the name of outside dash screen and the attack in the category of icmp and then flood and then threshold 10 and then we have to apply the screen policy to the outside zone with the command set security zone security zone and then outside and then a screen and then the name of our screen which is outside screen and then show compare it seems that i've already applied this policy with the command run show configuration display set and then grep outside screen yeah as you can see the configuration is already applied to the zone to make sure that it works, I ping it uh, the outside interface of Juniper device itself from a Debian machine with dash F or force options. Sodo ping 192.168.1.250, which is the IP address of outside interface of the Juniper, but with dash F or force option which generate too many ping packets
and then stop the output shows that the more than 90 percent of packets are dropped it shows clearly that only 10 icmp packets are allowed per second and all other icmp packets are dropped with the command show security screen and then statistics and then zone outside you can see also the statistic regarding different attacks detected by screen policy as you can see more than 900 icmp flood packets are detected and dropped by screen policy